She now has three in the game. You have to remember, this is a Temple team that has out-rebounded their opponent by about 13 boards. And the Temple inbound play. Jasmine Stone at the free throw line, missed the first one. Stone on the season. Kind of scary from the three free throw line, 28%. Yeah, that's scary, not for, not for her team, but <laughs> good for the opponent. Jasmine Stone, a product of USA Basketball. She was a member of the under 18 national team trials invitation. And many people say that she is taking after Don Staley and the fact that she's so close to Team USA Basketball and she's getting her, her name recognized by that group, a program that is certainly recognized nationwide for what they do for the young ladies that come in and out of college. Jasmine Adair, again, hit the turnaround. Comfort with the rebound. Still a three-point game. Maddox driving in. Jasmine Adair with the board. Sarah Jo Lawrence, at this point, it's got to be her show. It's been her show in the first half. She made her first bucket here in the second half. She still has a hot hand. Got to get her the basketball. She can make it her show, and they will look to get her the basketball. But remember, this is a George Washington team that has four players averaging in double digits in scoring. Good defense by Harrison. Forced the pass and the turnover. Harrison coming right back down the floor. Pull it back out to Maddox. How about the advantage on the rebounds for Temple? 32 to 14. And yet, GW leads by three. How about the other night against Duquesne? Temple out-rebounded them 50 to 19. And they've out-rebounded their opponents in the last 22 of 28 games. So they're a tough rebounding squad. Traveling violation called against Edie. And a substitution now. Shanita Landry into the game, replacing. And she will replace Lady Comfort, who goes out, hobbling just a bit. Lady Comfort, nine points, nine rebounds in this game. Well, Dawn Staley was correct. A lot of turnovers. turnovers. But Temple has done a good job at the half. They had 15 with only two here in seven minutes in the second half. Temple has made some nice ball handling adjustments, not turning the ball over as much as they did in the first half, much to the chagrin of George Washington. Kimberly back, the turnaround jumper from the elbow is no good. Beck again right there when Edie comes down. Hairston into the paint. Nice look to Landry, who gets fouled. It looked like by John. And these fans not happy. I tell you what, you mentioned it before. This truly is a great environment for college basketball. It certainly is, and this is why. How about the unselfish play by Kamisha Hairston, the penetration? You think she's on up for a shot, but she's going to pitch it out to Landry, who's right there. And you talk about the environment. These fans loving this competitive game. It is a three-point game. We're not surprised, though, Justin. We knew that this game was going to come right down to the wire, the A-10 competition, the number one seed on the line. They're going to fly to Cincinnati, Ohio next Wednesday. Temple, at least, will do that. And that's well, why they're... if weather permitting. That's right. I was going to say, that's why they're going to try to get out of here tonight, or if not tomorrow morning. Landry makes one of two, a two-point game. In for GW is Jamila Bates. Kimberly back, got to step it up. She's got three points. Adair is out. Sarah Jo Lawrence, everything is falling. Sarah Jo Lawrence came in, second leading scorer on the team. She's certainly leading the team today. Out of bounds, off of GW, and Temple and Coach Dawn Stanley, they want a foul. And I think they may have had a case right there. 16 seconds on the shot clock. This time we do have a foul, and it will be against Bates. Going down was Landry. So many of Sarah Jo Lawrence's shots come from off the dribble. We've seen several replays tonight. Here is another one. She's not the type of shooter to run off a screen and look for the shot real quick. She's going to get the ball. She's going to look at her options. And then 
Out of her 19 points here today, 15 of those have come off from creating them herself. She uses that dribble to gain strength and to gain a, a better look or a higher percentage, if you will. She is having quite the game, Sarah Jo Lawrence. Landry at the free throw line, a 73% free throw shooter. Lady Comfort going back to the scores table to come back in. 0 for 2, Jasmine Adair with a rebound. Kimberly back with just three points in this game. Three points and two assists. Sarah Jo Lawrence looking for Adair. It was called for travel. 11.52 to go here in the second half. We've got a close one, 37-33. GW leads Temple. On their side. That's right. George Washington in the house, twice. There's two George Washington mascots. 37-33, Kenesha Hairston in the corner. Under 12 to go here in the second half. Lady Comfort, tough shot, hand in her face. Still with a rebound. Loose ball on the floor, and Jasmine Adair, throwing elbows, comes away with a loose ball. Kimberly Beck looking for Sarah Jo Lawrence. And why not? Jasmine Adair down low, gets bumped, no whistle, but she gets it. She might not get the press that her sister gets, Jessica, but Jasmine is just as good as player. She's a strong bench player. You can see that she's agile. She's loose on her feet. She's got a great little hook shot that she demonstrated there. And Joe McEwen continuing to love the depth on his bench. Jasmine there last year was part of the A-10 all-rookie team. Edie for three. No good. How about Harrison going up for the rebound? Leads the team in rebounds. Already with a double-double in this game. Now 10 points, 12 boards. Maddox will pull it back out. Comfort thought about a backdoor pass. Maddox for three from the corner, got it. Oh, money, big bucket by Maddox. That was actually a two, I beg your pardon, a two by Maddox. Still big. 39-35, four point lead. Lawrence the pull up jumper. Too strong this time. And Comfort with the rebound. So we see the score, 39-35. We've got 10 minutes to go here in the second half. We kind of expected a low scoring game because when you look at these two teams, it's defense, 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 both George Washington and Temple. Well, the old adage for Joe McEwen and his George Washington squad, defense wins championships. That's the slogan they like to talk about. They have surrendered only 49 points over the last 15 games. And Justin, you bring up a great point. It's truly about defense, but Temple really doing a nice job of holding the Colonials to only 39. Jasmine Adair, shot blocked, contact by Comfort. And for Comfort, that is her third foul. Talked about Adair being real loose on her feet. You see she does a nice little, just a drop step, and then she's gonna get her body squared up. And Lady Comfort, she's disappointed in picking up that foul. You don't wanna put the George Washington team at the line. You wanna make them earn their points force him to miss those shots with this game being so tight down the line. Don't give it up at the free throw line. Jasmine Adair, a 39% free throw shooter. Into the game for Temple as Landry replacing Comfort. The Temple fans have made the trip. Down from Philly, and Jasmine Adair makes one for two. A five-point lead for GW. Again, first place on the line here in the A-10. Landry nearly got away with the travel. Jasmine Adair shoving her out of the lane. Edie goes baseline. Hairston, hand in the face, too strong. And Cole with the rebound. I thought that was a good offensive series. Edie with a baseline runner, the player that has a 
a positive assist to turnover ratio, dishing it out to Hairston, who I thought got a good look. She just couldn't connect. But that's the type of half-court offense that Temple 